Hello and welcome to the 26th episode of Behind the Railway Series, where we take a look at the stories of the Railway Series and locate the real-life counterparts in history. Finally, here's the series' 26th and final installment by the Reverend Wilbert Audrey, Tramway Engines, first published in 1972. This final volume takes place on Thomas's branch line. In Ghost Train, Percy tells the other engines a ghost story from his driver, but soon learns it was only pretend. After crashing into a cartload of lime, Percy pays out Thomas for teasing him by pretending to be a ghost engine himself. In Woolly Bear, Percy is in such a rush that he gets covered in a crate of treacle. When the wind picks up on the line, so much loose hay and grass sticks to him, he ends up looking like a Woolly Bear caterpillar. Mavis is introduced in the next story. She was supposed to stay at Toby's quarry, but gets stuck in frozen mud while pulling a train, leaving Toby to rescue her. The final story, Toby's Tightrope, has Mavis scheming to leave the quarry once more by having her trucks push her along, but one day the trucks mistake Toby for her and end up pushing him into a washed-out bridge, leaving Mavis to save the day. The foreword for this volume has the Reverend Audrey claiming that Thomas has been pestering him to write about his branch line. In reality, it was a combination of badgering from his wife Margaret and his editor, Eric Marriott. It ultimately made sense to end the series on the branch line of the series' first popular engine, Thomas. After all, Thomas hadn't had a prominent role in the series since branch line engines in 1961. This volume also led to a callback from Audrey's former relationship with illustrator C. Reginald Dalby. If you remember, Audrey criticized Dalby's illustrations of Percy for looking like a green caterpillar with red stripes. The story of Wooly Bear returned to this argument when Thomas referred to Percy as a green caterpillar with red stripes. Percy's accident in Ghost Train was based off a real-life incident also involving lime. Wooly Bear's opening involved farmers gleaning hay along the railway line, common activity along rural railway lines, including the Talithlin Railway in Wales. Mavis's predicament was based off one from the Wisbeck and Upwell Tramway, even down to the backup of traffic at the road crossing. The final story, Toby's Tightrope, was based off an accident in America, where a timber bridge over a river lost one of its trestles before the driver's eyes. Thankfully, like Toby, everybody got out all right. Tramway Engines was the final volume of the railway series written by the Reverend Audrey. Audrey's editor, Eric Marriott, eventually left K and Ward and became managing director for Pelham Books. In congratulation, the Reverend wrote this letter to him. Margaret and I wish you every success, though I shall miss you very much at K and Ward. It won't be the same place after our 26 plus years association over Thomas the Tank Engine. Thank you, too, for your friendship and enthusiasm and hard work you have put in over the years on behalf of the engine series, without which I am quite certain they would not be the success they are. Margaret remarked when I showed her your letter, one of the chores he won't have to do now is writing tactful letters to you trying to dig another book out. You see, she is still sticking pins into me now, just as she did over three railway engines. I will try to scrape the barrel for another one this autumn. But, alas, the Reverend had no new ideas for stories. Not that he truly needed to drum up any more. After all, he was by now a grandfather, he had lots of time to work on other projects, and he still conducted interviews with the odd person here and there. His illustrators, Peter and Gunver Edwards, found odd jobs after the series' end. And as for the Reverend's son, Christopher, he became a writer like his father. First on crime novels, then taking up the mantle and the pen as a new railway series author in 1983, 40 years after he originally heard the stories his father made up to entertain him when he was sick with measles. And those are all of the Railway Series stories written by the Reverend Wilbert Autry. I'd like to thank every, each and one of you for watching this series 
over its run these past few years. I wouldn't have been able to do it without your support. If you like, you can feel free to subscribe and comment below, and also give these stories a read for yourself. For what went into them is only part of what makes them so special. And for those of you wondering if I'm going to be doing the Christopher Audrey stories,